Hey everybody, it's your boy Celery Stick, and we're back. Okay, so since our last episode, we had our untimely demise, and we didn't really do very well. So what I've done is I've decided to go a little different, and I'm going to start off the game using a character called Woody. Now, Woody is a Canadian character, and he is... Oh, sorry, he's not... He's from Canada. He's a lumberjack, and he's got a bit of a, a mystery to him. Now, as you saw on the previous screen there, I... I did some practicing just to make sure I knew how to play this character. He has an axe that's really cool and has a terrible secret. Um, the world, we're going to start with the default world and we're going to dive right into it, guys. So here we are. Oh, what? Well, Maxwell, say, pal, you don't look so good. Well, look at me. I'm a lumberjack. We never look that good. All right, let's do this. So a few things you can notice right away is we got Lucy here. Lucy is our axe. This axe is pretty awesome. It's actually faster than all the other axes in the game. And it doesn't ever die. Like, it's, uh, it's unlimited. And she talks to me. Come on, choppity chop. Um, another thing you might actually notice is, okay, so I wanted to run this game a little differently. I noticed that the last time I was playing through, there was a little bit, I guess there was some difficulty I had with the inventory management. So I did install a mod in this game. You're going to notice that in the bottom, or I guess in the HUD down here, it's a little different than what you're used to. You notice this thingy isn't here, and I have this little uh, inventory box. So this is called the RPG HUD mod, and I'm going to show you guys how to install this a little later. But pretty much what it lets you do is, as opposed to always, like, I guess you have five inventory slots that are equipable. So this way what we can do is we can equip the axe, a hat, an amulet, a vest, and uh, a backpack. So it's kind of cool. So what you can do is you can have your backpack and your armor equipped at the same time and not have to worry. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's fly right through this. I don't want to bore you guys to death. Let's chop down some more trees. Now, you do got to watch it with Woody. He's Canadian, so he does apologize a lot. And I'm allowed to say that because I'm Canadian. And he's particularly polite. And uh, we're good like that. Um, he's a bit of a... He's got a pretty good beatnik beard. But you got to watch it. Because Woody's got a few uh, problems. <laughs> he's got some mental instabilities. Now, there is one thing that's really awesome with Woody. Is that... You need to use his abilities to your advantage. So this is the curse. He turns into a beaver. All right. And as a beaver, he's actually really strong. And it does. You do take a hit on your on your sanity when you do this, guys. But you can stay like him indefinitely. There's nothing that says you can't. All you gotta do is keep stocking up on uh, trees and stuff. So what I do when I'm in the woody form here, the beaver forms, I go around and I. Oh man, you gotta watch it. He eats everything. And the space bar behaves a little differently since the new The Stuff of Nightmares update. There's another way to do this stuff now. So what I go do is I just chop and uproot everything. Like one click, one click. So now this is kind of like a... Oh man, look at this beaver. He's awesome. And of course he turns into a beaver because, you know, Canadians like beavers. Um, let me know if you know what I'm talking about because on our nickel we have a beaver. Um... What's really awesome about Woody is he's super strong like this. He can actually take out a lot of bad guys and a lot sooner than you normally would. But the actions that you do, you gotta watch because it also damages you. Like, you got this log meter. That's pretty cool. Like, one, two, three, four, five. Done. Now, these killer bees are gonna come after us, but we don't even have to kill them. And beauty is, even if we die, you don't actually die. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta hightail it out of there. So watch this. We can actually eat the berry bush, and it'll restore some of our beaver buzz, if you will. I'm not sure what that's called, but... We eat all these logs, and it's... Let's just eat them all up. They, they bring up our health. Clearly, I still suck at this game. <laughs> okay, last time the bees didn't give this much chase. Let's just, let's just outrun them. It's really tricky right now. Um, one thing you gotta watch is, when you come back to life, though, you're gonna be low on health and low on hunger. And he, he is immune to the dark, like he has night vision, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck at night with Beaver, with Beaver Woody. But you do gotta, you do gotta watch out though. You might actually end up spawning at night, I think. I, I'm pretty sure you can respawn at night, and you gotta watch that. You don't wanna get caught at night without being in their Beaver form. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going around. This is really awesome. Look at this awesome Beaver, look at him. Oh man. So, I went to school in the Ottawa Valley. There's a bunch of other YouTubers out there that are from the Ottawa Valley. Let me know in the comments if you know any other popular YouTubers that are from the Ottawa Valley. Um, I'm not from the Ottawa Valley, I just went to school there. And there's a little shop if you can go down in the market. There's a place called the Beaver Tail. Uh, actually, I guess it's just they just sell Beaver Tails. The thing is just called Beaver Tails. So anyways, they're like these funnel cakes. They're, well, it's kind of like a flattened funnel cake. They're just really tasty. It's like deep fried pancake batter with syrup. Mmm. Alright. 
we're just gonna go around literally it's not really it might seem cheaty at first guys but it really isn't because you're gonna notice that you really take a hit on your sanity like when we come back we are not gonna be in good shape but I like doing this right away at the beginning of the game just to get it over with and you get yourself a bit of a head start details in this game are really awesome especially as this beaver now it's nighttime and you can see our or it's dusk I guess and you can see the, the night vision I'm really you can't access everything like right now I can't look at the map it doesn't let you no, I'm actually trying to find us a stone deposit. Because what's really nice is when you gnaw, it's a, it's a, it's a, <coughs> pardon me. When you gnaw at things, it's, um, it's a shovel, it's a hammer, and it's a pickaxe. So it's, it, it does everything. So, and it's usually like one hit wonders. And you're, you're actually, you can attack just like that as well. And the gnawing when you attack is, uh, it's like a tentacle spike. So it's pretty powerful. It's pretty good. But you got to watch it though. I'm looking for some beefaloes and some... I want beefaloes and I want some... Rocks, some stone. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention to our hunger bar and now here we're back. Okay, and I guess... So you come back really low on hunger, you come back really low on health and sanity. So when you do this, you better make sure it's worth it. So I didn't do it very well. So we're back, we're woody again, and we're pretty batshit crazy. That is the one big thing you'll notice is that you get batshit crazy, like, I mean really crazy. So there's beardlings, and you gotta watch it. You notice that you drop all your items when you come back as Woody? Yeah, that's for show. And you gotta go back and pick them up. Now you can't recraft Lucy, your axe, but that's where she is up there. So we're gonna go back and get her. She is probably one of our most invaluable weapons you actually, or items. You don't end up going through nearly as much flint because, well, you think about it, you do mine up a lot of stone. But really, you burn up mostly wood with your pickaxe. Let's pick up all this junk. So what I really want to try to do is get to the elusive pierogi again. Now, we tried to do that last game, but we didn't make it. And one advantage of uh, Woody is, I believe in his beaver form, he's immune to the cold. So we can actually turn into a beaver during the winter and it would help us survive if we're stuck in a situation like that. So I think it's pretty good. What we're going to do is aim to make our bird cage again, because we never did manage to get to our goals. But we do got to watch it a little bit. Like, our hunger is really low right now. And our health isn't doing the greatest. It's midday too. But we got a pretty good head start. I actually think it's worth doing that. Because you get all this... Like, look at all the resources we have. We got twigs, stone, flint. Thing is just, you got to go back and collect all your resources. Because as Beaver Woody, you can't hold anything. You have no inventory. And, I mean, this is pretty nice. You're set up for a while. And your sanity does go back up. It recharges on its own. I think it recharges as you pick items up. You can pick some flowers too. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Let's just munch on those. Awesome. Okay. Notice it's the, first, it's the second day and I've never actually had to make any fire. That's kind of awesome, right? You can just skip that step for the first little bit. I really don't like the new mechanic in this new update. The space bar isn't the same. I actually got to go around clicking things before you could just kind of hold the space bar and it would do it for you. I guess if I unequip the axe, it'd be a little easier go over here wow I really uprooted a lot of stuff so guys what I'll do is I'll go and collect everything and I'll be back when I'm done I don't want to bore you with this okay guys we're back so I managed to collect all the stuff I could find and if you notice we have a lot of stuff we got lots of flint a few saplings twigs oh I should probably eat these get my health up a bit um, we got a lot of like tufts of grass all this stuff we're in good shape we're about to hit our first night what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna truck down this way I want to head towards this savanna region down here. You see the, the, the savanna, and there's a wormhole I want to check out as well. Um, so we're going to head towards that big anus, and hopefully we'll get there. And what I'll do is I'll check in in the morning, guys. Oh, man, look at all this. All this stuff I missed. We had so much more that we pillaged. So it was actually a pretty good pillaging run. as Woody there, or as Beaver there. we got to watch the old daylight meter there. Oh, there's our honey. Oh, yeah, they're still angry. Let's hightail it out of there. All right, guys, here we are, first first night. Just cooking up some food, getting the old hunger up. I find carrots are actually decent. I think they give you five health, or is it three health as a cooked carrot? Let's check it out real quick. We got 49 health and 45 hunger. 52 and 47. So they gave you eight health and, sorry, eight hunger and three health. Let's chow down, guys. So I did pick up the honey and the honeycomb. Let's try eating this honey. What happens here? Not bad. Not bad. Let's eat the last one. Why not? There we go. We're in decent shape. We'll pick up these seeds because that is the last of our food supply. Uh-oh. It's a bit high. No, no. Don't drop them. We're going to cook them. 
Where's Chester? I miss that little guy. You know, Chester's kind of like, like Tupac. Like, he always comes back from the dead. You know, I think his name is actually Chester Shakur. <laughs> you know, I knew he wasn't dead. He'll be back soon enough. All right, and we're back. It's just barely morning, and we're going to take off. So, one thing you'll notice right away, guys, is playing as Woody is a little more tricky. I wouldn't say is for, like, the most beginner of users. I mean, obviously, you can't because you got to get the, uh... You got to get all the experience to be able to unlock him as a character. But you can notice it's tricky because we have Beardlings already. We're already going batshit crazy, like really crazy. Um, we did manage to... Aw, oh, Boone. Awesome. And a log suit. Awesome. Poor guy. Let's see how good that log suit is. 31. Well, it's better than no log suit. Let's head back up here and let's mine this stone. It seems like I always have trouble finding stone. All right, we got our pickaxe. Let's equip it and let's go hackety slash on this. I guess it's pixie pick. All right, nice. I guess I did find out what Nitor is for. Somebody sent me a PM. Nitor is for making gunpowder, and at this point in the game, I'm nowhere near ready to make gunpowder, so I'm just gonna leave that over there for now. Um, one difficulty is when you're as woody as the beaver, you you do have an issue with inventory. So it's kind of nice that we have this mod installed. Now this mod does have other options, like you can make it so this is two rows, so you can have double the inventory, like I think it's 55 slots. And I thought that was a little cheaty, I thought that was a little too easy, so I thought this would still be a pretty good balance between like difficult and convenient. Um, we still haven't found any stone, there's more savanna that way, so let's head over this way. Alrighty. Yeah, you'll notice right away that we have so much wood already, we have more than four stacks of wood and I've already used some very very inefficiently all right more stone yes 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 hopefully there'll be some beefaloes over here and we can actually set up a base camp so I really don't like delaying setting up base camps I don't like uh, burning up all the fuel in the fire pit I'd rather or a uh, campfire I'd rather build an actual fire pit all right so we have oh beefaloes oh yeah this is it guys lots of beefaloes lots of lots of rabbits up top Let's uh, let's see if there's any more stone before we set up camp. I guess. Oh, ha, ha, ha. This is heaven sent. All right. I'm going to mine up this stuff, guys. Oh, it's so good. I love it when you find stone right away. You can just build whatever you want. Yeah, the space bar mechanics change so much. I don't, I don't really like it, but I'll figure it out. We'll just eat that. Nice. Okay. And we have enough to build a fire pit. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be near this... Spider Den. I guess it's a spider den, guys. Please let me know in the comments if it's actually called a spider den. Wow, we found a really good biome here. I really like this savanna biome. It's uh and a ring thing. Awesome. Oh man, this game is so sneaky like that. You never know what's going on. Oh look at that. What if we didn't come here? We just found us a touchstone. So what's really nice about Woody is when he's in his beaver form, he could just eat away at these things and you could get yourself a ha he's pretty much a hammer. You can do whatever you want with him in his beaver form. You can gnaw on anything. This is just a giant savanna, guys. It's so big. It's really awesome. A lot of grass, a lot of bunnies. Really good place to set up and prepare for winter. Um, what's really nice about this area is I don't think we'll ever have to worry about food. Almost your bedtime, I know. Let's, uh, let's keep looking a little bit. I don't want to quite set up here. Oh, look at this. Another boon. We're doing really good. We got us some... Oh, this is the one problem. Okay, we got us a straw hat. We'll equip that. Nice. We got us a backpack. We'll equip that. Nice. Another thing you'll notice with the uh, the RPG mod, you got a little bit more room in your backpack, which I love. Straw roll. You can always... Rot. Okay, some rope. Um, you know what? We could use some rot for some fertilizing. We don't have any manure right now. Why not? Why is his head in the ground? Okay. I'm not even sure what... What does this hat do? I don't even know what the straw hat does. It just makes you look like a... Hillbilly, and if you're a hillbilly, that's cool too. Okay, um, all right, guys. Look, let's go and set up our base camp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore some more off camera, and I'm gonna see what we think. What I think might be the best spot. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So after days of searching, I think I found up where we want to set up our base camp. Okay, I looked around a lot, and I was debating down here because there's a lot of beefaloes, and there's our touchstone, and there's a lot of rabbit, like a lot of rabbit holes. But the problem is the island kind of ends here. It's like a bit of a peninsula, and it'd be a really long trek to get to anything else. Uh, so up here, we this is where we started, I think, and we headed down. We didn't, I don't remember seeing this, but apparently there's an anus over here. And we could probably do some more exploring that way. But I really want to set up a base camp. I think it's important that we do that, and we can always move it. Like, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like, we can always tear it down. 
Um, so I think we're gonna set up right here. There's a lot of bunny holes, a lot of grass. There's no beefaloes nearby, but we know that there's some down here. We'll go and get it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up and we're gonna put in our fire pit right here. I haven't found any more stone, guys, so this is gonna be tricky. Um, what's important is we gotta eat. We're pretty low on health, but hey, you know what? Why don't we deal with that next episode? I think we're doing pretty good. Next episode, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll get all our berry bushes in. We'll get our, our saplings in the ground. We'll try to get some, some manure, and we'll fertilize them, and we'll get started. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and they really do help. And we'll see you next time. Bye.